Well, for you guys, uh, it's a tough place to come in and play. Fans are loud. What does it feel like to you know come out with a win after it was tied going into the third period? Well, first of all, a great atmosphere. Uh, again, we were excited coming in, uh, uh, preparing you know, last year, you know, this year. Uh, again, we knew it was, it's a great place to play. We knew there'd be a ton of fans. We know the next two games as well. So uh, we're really happy with our start. We, we came out really well. Uh, built the lead. Uh, they came back, uh, again, a back and forth uh, type game. Uh, tied going into the third period and we were able to come out with the win. And, uh, obviously power play was, was key, a couple big kills at the start of the third as well, uh, but happy with our, our result for sure. Yeah, you mentioned special teams, obviously a huge part of the game. Uh, we'll start with, with the penalty kill. I, I mean, in the third period, what did you see from your guys out there? That was a pretty good effort, back-to-back -back kills. Uh, there's some block shots. Uh, again, we were aggressive when we needed to. Uh, we were smart when we needed to. Again, that's a, a, a great power play uh, over on that side that's that's had success against us this year. So, um, and obviously, uh, Matty B. Right? Matty B made huge saves uh, when we needed to on the kill, but went 5-on-5 five five as well. So, uh, again, hats off to him. Power play. I mean, we just I just talked to TJ and he said it wasn't good enough. He's he's expecting better. Uh, you scored four times though, and obviously that's a big difference in the game. Yeah, for sure. It's it's huge, right? You get the opportunities. You got to put it in the net, and uh, you know TJ did a great job on it. All everyone did, and nice to see uh, uh, Keel get the, the hat trick. Uh, he played excellent uh, tonight. But uh, again, I thought TJ uh, played really well in the power play. Did their thing. Yeah, a little bit extra for TJ. I mean, he comes home, uh, well, not home, but back here. And, uh, you know, for him, you know, obviously a little bit of an extra game to come back, kind of like Martin Furk in Grand Rapids, I'm sure. It was kind of the same kind of feeling guys wanted to win that game for them. Yeah, for sure. I mean, TJ means so much to our team and, and obviously he meant a lot to this team when he was here. And it was a great tribute to, to him after the first, uh, uh, I guess, the first time out there, real classy by, uh, by Colorado there. And it just shows uh, what they thought of him. And, and again, we feel the same way. And we're, we're happy he's on our team. You mentioned Akil, and we've talked about him a few times here as he's been really uh, coming on, and I know he's been doing a lot of those little things all season, but now to get rewarded, and you need scoring down the stretch, and he's coming through here. Yeah, for sure, and again, uh, uh, we've talked about his, his road back, and uh, you know, he just had to play, had to get the, those touches and that experience, and uh, you know, he's coming through uh, with flying colors uh, right now. Uh, continuing to work on his game uh, after practices and his shot and his, his handles. Uh, again, we rely on him defensively as well with penalty kill and uh, important face-off, so happy to have him. How much uh, does it help for, for Matt Valalta getting through this game too? A little bit of a confidence booster. He made a lot of saves, obviously, in the second period, and he was counted on pretty heavily. Yeah, you know what? Uh, again, it's playoff uh, type feel against the uh, excellent team that uh, you know, we, we wanted him in there, and he played great, and was able to uh, make a ton of a ton of really good saves, and played the puck really well, did a lot of really good things. So uh, good for Matty B.